This video is going to be a quick review of a tool called the Bucket Boss. This is their original series, Bucketeer. It's basically a bucket tool organizer. Uh, I think a lot of people have seen these. Uh, it's basically, you can see it right there. Uh, it is basically the way to convert a five gallon plastic bucket, the way the ones that so many of us own, into a toolbox. Toolboxes can be pretty expensive and a little bit cumbersome. So this is a way to get a toolbox completely set and very portable, easy to use for about, about $20 given a you know, two or $3 bucket. And this Bucket Boss sells for about maybe $16, $18 on Amazon. I'm sure you could buy it locally for more and you could buy a nicer one made of uh, you know, wax canvas or leather or something for more than this one. But this is a pretty nice one. I've used, uh, I have an older one I've used for some time. And this is a new one I did because that old one was a little bit shot. The brand is called Bucket Boss. It's pretty easy to find. I think this is the top seller on Amazon and it's made of this uh, ripstop Cordura. I don't know if it's like branded ripstop or branded Cordura, but that's what it is and what it looks like at least. It's made of like a heavy backpack type material as you can see here in the brown. It has those little vertical lines that kind of stand out. I believe that's the ripstop. Here you have a reinforced strap here and that's on top of all of the pockets. And there are a lot of pockets we have these are little, uh, you know, for a pen, screwdriver, Allen key, something like that. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine little pockets. And now you get into one, two, three, four, maybe like four or five medium pockets, two larger pockets, one closed pocket. This might be good for a, a water bottle or something like that. And that's on the, the one side. The other side, we have one, two, three medium pockets, one, two, three, four larger tall pockets right there you have a strap here you have uh another hanging strap and if you see here uh you kind of see what things are there for uh you know it's tall screwdrivers channel lock safety goggles stuff like that the inside is less organized right with one of these what you have here on the inside we'll do another later in the video we'll look at this uh this active but you have a couple loops like here a big loop here another loop and some interior pockets and it has this sort of apron type shape where it goes straight down on top of your bucket which we'll see in a second so here's a pretty standard five gallon bucket this is a home depot two dollar bucket probably everyone has one of these or at least something approaching it Here's the bucket boss itself. And like I said, it just fits over the bucket. It's a pretty simple operation. You can see it's basically uh, like a T-shape. This piece opens up. So you just You want to be cognizant, of course, of the handle, but basically the seams line up here with the handle. And now this gets shoved under here. Pull it snug. And that's it, you're good to go. Here you have uh, the small pockets. Again, that's more for screwdrivers. Here you have some bigger pockets. Might be for some pliers or something like that with a little bit more width. Handle is fully functional, as you'd expect. On the inside, we have straps. That's like for a hammer, something like that. Another strap here. You don't wanna pick it up by these. It looks like a carrying handle, uh, but that would only be if you wanna take this thing out entirely. But if you take it out, unless this is pretty much weighted, you're just going to pull the uh, bucket master or whatever it's called right out. You really want to continue to use the handle. And then on the inside, you have these. You can probably just see them with the light. We have internal pockets here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven medium internal pockets going around the whole internal circumference of it. And then again, one strap, two straps. These ones that look like handles. And then your... Uh, kind of a hammer holder there. 
So here's a fairly typical setup for a, I would say a lighter toolbox. We have, uh, again, on the Home Depot barrel, got a couple screwdrivers, maybe a chisel, your measure, then you have some pens, pencils in the smaller setup, in the smaller pockets there, uh, maybe a channel lock. I got all the pliers and those sort of tools on this side. Got your, uh, whatever you got, some needle nose, stuff like that. Uh, so that way you just have a full range of tool. I have a pair of snips in here for no reason, uh, just so I know where they are. So again, this is pretty light. You can make this thing pretty heavy, like 30, 40 pounds, no problem. If you want, I'd keep this one pretty light. And the nice thing about this is, this is something I want to grab. So if I need something like that, I wouldn't normally think to grab when I'm doing a job, you know, just around the house, not like a professional job. Uh, I usually have it around here, something like Allen keys or maybe a, a pair of gloves or a T-square that'll have in here. So if I know I have something to do upstairs or in the basement, I'll just grab this, go ahead and do it. And I think that's really the advantage of something like this. It's maybe half the weight and twice as easy to carry as my uh, as a standard wooden toolbox so it's a nice setup i keep it light uh this one's brand new so it looks good and uh stays pretty neat and the, again if you just randomly need uh some cutting gloves or t-square or maybe the different pair of pliers or something like that or a slightly larger screwdriver whatever then i got it so often i just grab one tool then i'll run off and uh a second later i'm running back down the steps because so i need a hammer or a chisel or what have you. Anyway, that is the uh, Bucket Boss. I don't think it's a great toolbox. It's not the best toolbox, but for uh, tooling around your house and doing some handy andy type jobs, uh, I think it's pretty good. And for 16, 17 bucks, plus two or $3 for a bucket, or even less if you already have one, then it's a, it's a really great pickup.